Okay, we're going to look at some transformations of the trig function graphs. Um, you're going to be viewing this on your own, and so you can press pause, obviously, if um, you want to go back over something or rewind and repeat it. Y equal tangent 2x. The first thing you will notice is that I have shifted the x-axis up one because there is a vertical shift up one. Now, tangent of zero is what? At zero, the slope is zero, so tangent of zero is zero. Two times zero is zero, um, plus one is one. Now, what does this two do? This two affects the period, and the period is the x. Now, here's where we see a change. The normal period for tangent is pi. So the period is going to be pi divided by 2. Now, if I think about it, half of the cycle of tangent is on one side of 0, and half of the cycle is on the other side. So instead of dividing the period by 4, like we do for sine and cosine, we're going to divide the period by 2. And half of the cycle is going to be to the right, and half the cycle is going to be to the left. Pi over 2 divided by 2, or times a half, is pi over 4. Now, if I put pi over 4 in for x, 2 times pi over 4 is pi over 2, and tangent of pi over 2 is undefined. This is where our vertical asymptotes go. Now, if I wanted to graph an additional cycle, I could add pi over 2. 1 fourth plus 1 half is what? 1 fourth plus 2 fourths is 3 fourths. And there would be another asymptote at 3 pi over 4. In between is pi over 2, and guess what? The y coordinate's going to be 1 again because I'm shifting up 1. These are pi over 2 apart. The asymptotes are pi over 2 apart. Now, we do divide this cycle by into four parts, and I like it divided into four because this is going to help us with our shape. What would this value be? pi over 8, half of pi over 4. If I put pi over 8 in here, I get tangent of pi over 4, 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So this is up at 2. And if I put negative pi over 8 in, that's negative pi over 4. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So it does help to plot a few points to make sure you have one cycle correct. And then using that shape, it's real easy to draw an additional cycle. All right, going on to the next graph. We have cotangent, negative 2 cotangent of x minus pi over 4. This time we have a phase shift. What value of x would make this argument 0? If you thought or said pi over 4, you're exactly correct. So the phase shift or the horizontal shift
is pi over 4. What is the period? Well, this coefficient of x in the argument is 1, so the period is the normal period for cotangent, which is pi. Remember, with your sine and cosine graphs, you added those two together. So let's add those two together, and you would get pi over 4. Nope. Pi plus pi over 4, phi pi over 4. So I'm just going to mark this axis in pi over 4s. 2 pi over 4, pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4. Go back the other way, 0, negative pi over 4, negative pi over 2, negative 3 pi over 4. Now, what is cotangent of 0? Cotangent's x over y at 0, that's 1 over 0. If you can picture that unit circle in your head. So our vertical, whoops, our vertical, but I've got a phase shift. So our vertical asymptotes are at pi over 4, and they're going to be pi apart. Halfway in between the vertical asymptotes is a zero of the function. Once again, I'm going to plot a point. Put 3 pi over the 4 in here. 3 pi over 4 minus pi over 4 is pi, 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2. Cotangent of pi over 2 is 0, 0 over 1. This halfway point would be pi over 4. Now, what does this negative 2 do? The negative is going to reflect it, and the 2 is going to stretch it. So, I'm going to go up 2 units, and I'm going to go down 2 units. Now, normally, cotangent is decreasing. But since it's negative, cotangent is going to increase. So, this is pi right here. If I put pi in there, I get 3 pi over 4. That's quadrant 2. Cotangent's negative in quadrant 2. So if I multiplied by negative 2, I would get positive 2. Because of that negative, this is now going up from left to right, and it is stretched vertically. Oops. Not very good. We do need to approach our asymptote. And please put arrows on the ends of your graph. All right, guess what's next?